room was, the bedroom starting to get cleaned up, and it's kind of gotten messy again, so I gotta get on that. But that's not the purpose of this video. I've done some changes in my bedroom stereo setup. First of all, you'll notice there's only one speaker on that, on the entertainment center shelf now. Because, if you look over here, I installed a, uh, a shelf above my computer desk. Okay. Ooh, and I'm um, another quick detour. I uh, upgraded to a dual DVI out video card, and instead of, I had two CRT sitting here. Now I and then I had the the Dell LCD and a CRT. Well, somebody gave me that. I got this Acer LCD for free. The Dell was kind of a freebie too, which is a long story I won't get into. But I upgraded to a newer video card with dual DVI, so I'm running both of these. DVI now, and above my shelf here, it, above my desk is a shelf I put in. I haven't stained or anything, because I am planning to redo this bedroom, and I'll be honest, I wasn't worried. I just needed the shelf in a hurry so I could get some cleaning, and because I was losing that CRT that was there, I had my scanner on top, and I needed a place to stick the scanner. And I was hoping by having the shelf, it would help it would prevent this from happening, the junk on the desk, but you can see that has not been the case. But I got my speaker up there, and then you can see I've also upgraded to uh, some heavier gauge speaker wire. It's, uh, oh, you can't read that. It's 12-2, 12, 12, it's 12 gauge speaker wire. Well, actually, it's not speaker wire, it's Romex. But if it can handle 20 amps of house current, certainly it can handle, um, it can provide good quality connection to my speakers for my amp and that's another change a uh, friend of mine was in need and uh, I got a friend who's starting a church so she's got my 130 watt per channel Samson I've been working on getting all that set up for and I've got this uh, Cali Profile California car amp it's 75 it's a three channel. It's got two 75 watt channels and a 150 watt sub channel. You can see the inputs there on the side, uh, stereo and mono. I've got the gain set uh, appropriately. Pardon me, I've got a bit of a cold, and uh, you know how that is. I've got the. I'm running my main speakers full range, and then I'm using the stock 80 hertz low pass crossover for the sub. I still <coughs> I'm still using the carver with that. I've got the gains about how I like them. Stash back behind the entertainment server. You can't see it. I'm using an old comp AT computer power supply to power this amplifier. You can see I've got the an old yellow cord heading back there. So you can see I've got my 12 gauge Romex here going to the main speakers and this white piece which comes down here to my sub, another addition. It was in my car and when I started driving a truck I didn't have room for this. Pardon me. And in my truck I'm now running a 12 inch JL audio but inside this uh, deckware death box, the same one in my uh, other video. I've got a MTX Blue Thunder subwoofer. You can see the box has seen better days. It's got silicone on it. It's leaky, but it still provides some good sounding bass. If this thing was stored outside for a period of time, and that's kind of what has led to its demise. Eventually, I do plan to take it apart. I have to... Woofer is still good build a new box for that woofer. Maybe even a couple others for some new wolf woofers next time one of the car audio pla places has a sale on uh, some good subwoofers. I know for a long time there's been that sale, uh, buy one, get one free on kickers, but I'd rather wait till they have a similar deal going for JL Audio. Because I they've really gotten me sold on them. I think they make great products. Now on my last bedroom stereo video but Rocker commented about uh, vinyl. So, that's what we're going to have today. And it won't be a long clip, but...